while the man who made a mint betting against the housing market sees plenty of housing pain ahead. In an exclusive interview with Bloomberg, former hedge fund manager Michael Berry described housing as, quote, an artificial market. John Ehrlichman sat down with Barry, and he joins us now with his story. John. Well, dears, remember earlier this year in a New York Times op-ed, Michael Berry asked the question, how come people haven't asked me in Washington for my take on what happened, what led to the financial crisis? He has since spoken to members of the FCIC, spent a couple of hours with them in Washington. But his biggest concern, people continuing to play the blame game. Have a listen to what he had to say. My number one concern is there's been a complete, utter, total abdication of personal responsibility throughout our entire society. I don't think that anyone anywhere is taking blame themselves for what they did to contribute to the crisis. And I think that, again, it gets back to that blame game. I think that's, it's the most damaging thing we can do as a country is to, to blame a narrow set and not look within ourselves for what each of us did or didn't do to, to basic wrong that led to this mess. Um, Go ahead. You're saying from the average mortgage broker all the way up to the Federal Reserve. The from the borrower through the average mortgage broker all the way up to the Federal Reserve through Congress, the president, um, several presidents. <laughs> I think there's, there's, this has been coming for a while, and there's been a, 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 a lessening of the credit standards over a period of time that's ultimately led to the kind of blow-off top that we had. Well, then... What's your take on the housing market right now and what's going on in the housing market right now? It's, um, it's an artificial market. Uh, there's, there are a tremendous number of homes um, where the homeowners, I think it's two point, somewhere between 2.5 and 3 million homes where the homeowners are more than nine months past due and are not getting notices that they're past due. They're just living there for free. And I've, I actually know one <laughs> that's been there for a few years without having to pay anything. There's this, tr and, and, the re and I think that Fannie and Freddie are basically being used as special purpose vehicles by our government to support the housing market. The private mortgage market is practically non-existent. 96, 97 percent of mortgages are, are flowing through Fannie and Freddie now. It's, um, I think Fannie and Freddie are, are, are exercising a tremendous amount of power over the, the market by withholding properties from sale and not making and not forcing foreclosure the foreclosure process. I think that uh, it'd be best if the government just completely got out of the mortgage market and let and let the housing because home prices are a function of income and and the leverage applied. 